salmon all over the old <laughs> profession there. Yeah. Eric does what he can for his viewers. <laughs> all right, well, you see the box in front of you. You know what this is. It's just a box, really. It's just really, yeah. just a really fancy box since 1992. <laughs> I mean. 35. Fuck, I can't even do this, and this isn't even SR. Um, 35 year old Heaven Hills Distillery Whiskey Barrels. What is this, Barry? Uh, it is 2015 Goose Island Rare. Jesus. Fresh from court. Chicago. They found these barrels in the basement on accident, right? That was the story. That's the story. Is I that really the story? That's the yeah. story. Wow. They moved some crap around the barrel house, and they went, oh. They generally don't shot. age bourbon that long. Check this out. They actually seal it. Barry went to Rare Day. You can kind of tell the story while I unbox this piece on camera. Yeah, yeah. So I went to Rare Day uh, Friday the 13th. It was a great experience. I mean, I, I know there's a lot of, what did you say, backlash, 60 bucks a bottle. But honestly, the, the event was so well run. Oh, shit. It was so much worth the I price. feel like I need to, like, hold an unbox Just therapy show, show unboxing. Them. Right. Review. Like that. I need to shoot a very very fancy. So they review. like laser burned all the stuff into yeah. the box. You can't see it here, but there's a solid four paragraphs on the inside. So really quickly, it's actually the brewmaster is Jared Jankowski. Oh, we were just talking about what happened to Brett Porter. Uh, so they talk about back in 1979, the folks at Heaven Hills Distillery in Bardstown, Bardstown, Kentucky, filled freshly charred American oak, white oak barrels with their finest whiskey and stored them in their. What is that? Fabled. Fabled. It's kind of actually hard to read. It is. Um, it's rare for bourbon to age in barrels for more than 23 years. Uh, so this is 35 years. They basically forgot about they it. They forgot yeah. about it. And yeah. then they sent these barrels to Goose Island, and they filled them with bourbon kind of grand so Basically, stuff. that's 35 years for that whiskey to breathe in there. It's so older than all of us. All yeah. the yeah. sugars in, <clears throat> all, the, all that Jesus. stuff. And they were saying that um, some of the trees in the, that the barrels were made from are 140 years old. I kind of want to know what happened to that bourbon. On top of the two years. So, an interesting thing to know about these bottles, if you've seen the labels, they're just the neck. Yeah. yeah. And this is actually done. glued in, you guys. So, so like, this isn't going anywhere. If you get, if you're trading for one of these, if you're lucky enough and you get one that has the label popped off and the bottle's kind of loose in there, like, yeah, I don't see why right. you couldn't take a... Because it doesn't like say a, a like a honey brand so like rare. Like a teapot other than that. steam that label off. You probably could, although it looks like there's a way. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> do you care if I... No, okay, that's what we're here to Our, do. Oh, is it that easy? Eric yeah. demanded to sit It's just like that little movies. magazine stupid glue shit there, in the back of that bottle. <laughs> I want to fuck it up. I don't either. It just feels like it's really in there. No, it's not. Wow. There we go. So All right, guys. Sixty dollar unboxing experience. It's like unboxing an Apple product. We, we know a guy that would trade good. good beer for just this wood piece. Yeah, probably true. Uh, anyways, so Bourbon County Rare Brand Stout, two thousand fifteen, aged in thirty five year old Heaven Hills whiskey barrels. This was actually of note bottled just about two months ago on September fifteenth, twenty showing back. And it actually yeah. is clocked in, in at 14.8 per the label and 14.5 per the internet. I'm just that here for the box. box. The box is cool. Actually, John just then. Yeah, and got to hand it to them. They really did do a nice job on the packaging. Yeah. A yeah. lot of people don't like this no, new bottle design. They moved to 500 milliliters. Yeah. So the, 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 12 the pictures kind of piss me off, but now that I've seen the bottle, <clears throat> it's cool. I yeah. like it. I like it. I, and we have actually just I'll spent it. four minutes talking, talking about, about the, the packaging and the bottle and that's that's what you get if that's the premium experience they're selling rare as they've even got the gold caps i wonder if the rest are gold this year they I had the know. they had to one up the last if you remember rare was in a cardboard box yeah right? 2010 yeah. rare drinking right now a lot of people say it's really over the hill it was that darkest day it's dope yeah like, i heard i've heard it's falling off but i have no idea i've never had the 2010 what? Never had it. Oh, man. Well, I know what you're trading your other rare for. <laughs> All right. Well, it's Barry's bottle. Barry, you can do the honors. Sure. Open it for it. It's um, fridge temp, we'll say. Uh, it so feels it colder, but I feel like the bottle's colder than the beer inside. So How long has it been? 15, 20 minutes. Yes. Yeah, be cold. Yeah, so uh, go ahead and get that pour right on camera, right. or I will if you don't. 
People love the pours. Uh, let's give the pour on 2015 Burger King. Hey, Calm it down, Beer Geek Nation. So, I feel like that's not even four ounces. Head is that head is not there. There is a no. ring. That's like a ring of Saturn on that glass. And that's all it is. Eric got even less. Yeah, true. Um, so it actually pours out like mm-hmm. most Bourbon County. Uh, granted, it is Bourbon County. It's Pretty just much. Asian difference. It's just longer, yeah. Uh, and longer. However, sorry, John. Um, it's it looks really, really like Bourbon County in the glass. Very little head. John's gonna do the top off. I'll yeah, just, so I'll just even more. Here. more. Jeez, well, your glass is smaller, so do more for yourself. It's also your bottle. Yeah. No, that's right. All right, we're doing so. Keep going. Topping off here, guys. Um, I can smell whiskey right now, like straight whiskey. It's it's obviously going to be the predominant thing. You age it for two years. Well, right. Right. I mean, Central Waters ages black gold. 18 in, months, in right? 18 months up to, there's some that are three years. <clears throat> there's barrels that they blend in. Oh, I they like blend the bottle. That's okay. You've already had That was a drop on this. <laughs> That's okay. Um, it looks like massive alcohol. It's in that damn near 15% alcohol by volume. Duh. I mean, oh. huge, dude. Wow. It's like I they're wish not I could moving. show you. They're, you can't just, they're just, just sticks hanging to the glass. For days. Um, as far as light passing through, no shit, that's not going to happen. No, yeah. Like uh, nothing at all. It looks actually quite viscous and um, oily, mm-hmm. like resiny oils yeah. sitting on top. Um, the head, albeit all but gone, mm-hmm. there is this nice foam ring that just kind of hangs Just a ring, out. like I saw. Just, just, where, the, just, just where it touches the glass. And I'd say we're drinking mm-hmm. this at about 45. Yeah. yeah. And by the time we finish this review, probably be 50. Yeah, maybe 55. All right, well, God, this has been a fun unboxing pour. Let's <laughs> smell it. We're seven I minutes know. in. Whatever, we're going to let cheers on all your asses. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's smell it, guys. Shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy fuck. I almost need to, like, clear my nostrils before I go back. Yeah, like, I'm snorting heavily to just clear all... We should have eaten the tacos before, (laughs) though. Um. Just fudgy whiskey, man. Yeah. So fudgy. Like, it's... There is... So, if you take Bourbon County, like, Mm -hmm. you drink fresh Bourbon County, aged Bourbon County, I'm talking OG, it's got, like, that vanilla macadamia barrel character... This is amplified and drenched in fudge and whiskey yeah. by about 50. Right. Oh, totally. I mean, wow. Amp, just way amped up. Right. If, wow. The barrel on this I blows away regular, right? Oh. Just blows it you away. You can tell that they use. And the best part, there's the barrel smells so smooth, right? Yes. You yeah. don't get You any don't get any fusel alcohol. You don't no get any. No shitty gum. whiskey barrel right. qualities. No. Nothing like that. I mean, I'm getting fudge. Like yeah, brown it's like better. brown sugar, tobacco-y. I get this like weird like um, uh, like the plant, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Not like not like smoked cigarettes, no, no, but no. like but like uh, almost like if you unrolled a cigar. premium cigar, mm-hmm. Maduro oh. wrap for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Maduro wrap for sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh man, oh, this takes um, me back to Friday. Mm-hmm. This takes me back to Friday. <laughs> I'm kind of mind blown because like it's not overly <clears throat> diverse and complex. Like I'm not picking out all these 800 different things, right. but that's what I appreciate so much. Like you can't see this, but look. Oh, right. I can. Where, no, they can. Oh, they can. That's right. where I just kind of tilted to the yeah, side. Like it's, it's still stained. there. Yeah, it's, it's just hanging. It will stain your skin almost. You know. Okay. Well, so here's the thing. Going into this beer, I didn't want to hype it up. I didn't. Well, I did. Of course, I did. But I didn't <laughs> want to. I didn't want to make it like it was God scene type of thing. Yeah, this but is but not. This the, is an experience so far. Th- I've had more sugary beers. Morning right. Light is more sugary this time. Like right. Two. Yeah. That's fucking. Um, isn't it caro syrup or taro syrup? Whatever you call caro it. Caro syrup. Yeah, caro syrup. syrup. Yeah. This is sweet. This definitely smells sweet. Mm-hmm. This smells okay. Actually, so. Vanilla, there like, is, like the vanilla bean. Yep. It's like vanilla bean soaked in alcohol, right? Like how you yeah, make your own. Exactly. When you do your. There's a twinge of maple. Like a mapley note, not like maple syrup, like morning delight, but like I think yeah, that's just that like dark it's maple, sugar, brown sugar, caramelized brown sugar, molasses. Yeah, um, I'm thinking coffee. 
that brown sugar, that breakfast odor, I guess. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, it, it's, you know, it kind There's of, no maple I mean, here, call me crazy, mm-hmm. it smells a little like SR-71. Yes, it does. Um, I, I would think say, this smells... I would say SR-71 is a little more, like, up front. Right. Like, slams well, in your face. drink this is a little too soon. But... This tastes a little more, like, delicate and refined. Right, yeah. Well, these guys have been doing it a hell of a long, a lot, a lot longer. But... Yeah. Um, this is top three best smelling bourbon barrel aged stouts I've ever had. Yep. Pretty good. Potentially one. Totally agree. Yep. Gone. I totally agree with that. Okay, well, it's been 10 minutes and 43 seconds. <laughs> and we, we haven't even drank it. Finally, taste the <laughs> son of a bitch, or should we just keep smelling? <laughs> yeah, we could just keep I mean, smelling. yeah. Tobacco, brown sugar, vanilla. It's getting a little more tobacco as it warms yeah. up. Mm-hmm. A twinge of dark fruits. Maple. Oh, just like every dark sugary character. thing that you could think of. Yeah. Combine it with yeah, some some coconut vanilla. All the goods, none of the bads. I nothing bad. Nothing is, I'm awesome. going to have any complaints on this next week. All right, guys. Let's. I mean, we. You know, it actually feels a lot less cold. Just yeah. Based on warming it, and swirling it, and, and uh, talking about it for 11 minutes and 23 seconds. I haven't even tasted it. We'll get ready for <laughs> another 11 minutes and 23 seconds. Thank Cheers you guys. so much, Barry. No problem. Cheers, dude. No problem. No, sure. you, this does not happen Cheers. at all. Cheers to you guys for watching this review. There is this weird dark fruit up front, smack in your mouth, like wood character. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. I cannot describe. Like it's not not like um toasted charred oak, but like this like kind of musty. It's like I can't toned describe down. it. It's like way it's like if you turned like a tanniny kind of BA beer, took took the tannins and turned it down a little. Sure. It's, it's not wood. super woody. It, well, I mean, it's not like... Uh, it's not tannic. You know what it's I like, like, I'll call not, like chewing on a like a, right. like a toothpick kind of woody? This is like very, very much more gentle. Refined, gentle wood character. Yeah. Uh, Are you getting that? So what struck me the first time I had this is it warmed my whole body. It, it just went like, you know, chest down. And I'm getting that right now. I don't know if you guys are getting that. Yeah, right. I get this like... Throat mm-hmm. coating. You just it's, feel it's, down it's, there. Yeah, it's warming, but it doesn't burn. It's not much. hot. It's exactly. not like it's not like you're drinking like kind of like when you have soup. Yeah, kind of. Or like when you have really, really well refined whiskey. Right. Like just straight or neat. Yeah. Um, holy shit! Right. And it just stays warm in your mouth, almost like a pepper beer does, kind of. Mm-hmm. Where it just sits there. There's like a cinnamon note in the bottle. Oh, totally. That's so weird. And um, I don't, I don't want to confuse. This doesn't smell like anything like this because it, it's not, it's not burning at all. No, uh, when it's we were actually discussing this beer today uh, with a couple of friends, and and one of them had uh, an ounce or two the other night, and he stated pretty vocally, pretty loudly that it was hot, <clears throat> whiskey hot, and would be perfect. And you know, years. it's a little tingly. I could see that some people that are maybe a little. Uh, right. Afraid of strong. Well, if you're also presence. drinking derivation regularly. Uh, well, <laughs> not everyone can drink derivation. But I'm right saying, I, I don't think this needs two years. No. At all. I, I'd Neither. say you could do either or. I think you could, if you did get the three. Um, I don't think this is going to turn into a, it's going to get worse in two years. No, certainly not. I think it'll continue to get better and better and better. And I think that um, those people that are scalping these on Craigslist or my beer collectibles that are just selling for cash, you're an asshole. Yep. Uh, I don't think after right having away. this, I don't think I could sell it. Right? I think I see, you your, see, predicament. I see your predicament. I, I mean, I can see why people would want to <laughs> fund the trip if you drove all the way yeah. from Minnesota or Kentucky or wherever so, you drove to get this. I'll be honest with your viewers. My wife wants me to sell one to fund my trip, and I don't want to sell one. Nope. You and can't. I don't like selling any beer. I'm not that person. Nope. I feel dirty doing talking about it, actually. Yeah. Um, but I really don't want to sell these. Beers. I don't think you can. I want to keep them. I don't I think you can. If anything, just throw it up there for an SR and a KPBS. 
And two to one, let's do it. <laughs> And I don't even know if I'd give it up. And a morning delight. This is morning. really, really, this is a, a really out of body experience. I'm kind of It's having like if you took a bunch of Tootsie Rolls, put them in a blender, put some nice whiskey in there, and just kind of like mixed it all around. Yeah. But somehow reduce just that, uh, the lack of attenuation that that would be. But it's delightful. I, uh, I I can't get over the. the I still have the warm peppery up. tingles too. It just warms you up without burning you. It's, right. It's I'm not used to it's that. It's like this smooth, subtle. It's like the gentlest of whiskeys that you could be having right, right now. Yeah. So if this is anything like like a pappy, if the pappy is really that soothing and that gentle, yeah, I need to get pappy. It is. Fuck. It is. I need to get that 35 year Heaven Hill. Where the hell is yeah, that? Where is that? Johnson? How much is it? <laughs> Five and a half grand. Oh god. Fifty. Probably too. They're barrel masters just sitting in his office, just <laughs> kicking back. He's yeah. gonna be hand for like three all the years. time. Yeah, this <laughs> twenty four seven plow. I don't feel like we're rain. doing the taste justice if we don't go ten minutes on it. Right. Yeah. Well, we already went six. We're sixteen. Yeah. Ooh. Whatever. I'm gonna do. I'll do the same. So we've had tons of barrel aged stouts. We've had bunches. Of we've had really had nice. Other than derivations, derivations, and I've had I, I don't remember which one. Other than derivation, we have had I don't know every top barrel aged yeah. stout in America. Yeah. I mean bourbon barrel. Um, oh yeah, it's ready. Bourbon barrel. Uh, what is it? Double barrel Luna. Bourbon barrel nine k. Uh, we'll get there, John. We'll get there. No, it's gonna go. Uh, oh, that's fine. Um, just like we've had SR seventy one, we've had KBBS both years. We've had assassin, we've had red wax assassin, yellow wax assassin. We what I'm trying to think. Um, Black Tuesday. What are some of the other like? Pretty much. Uh, I'm trying to think of other like top top ever, or BBDL. Uh, yeah, BBDL is way sweeter than this. Yeah, I mean, I'm just like trying to like put this on that map. I mean, rare ten. Vanilla ten, coffee, all those we've had them all. I mean, there isn't really. If I look at uh, there's maybe barrel aged Braxis again would be nice, but like there isn't really a stout out there that I am like now I need to go and get. Right. I I I feel like I'm just like content now. I would compare it more to like a better assassin than an SR personally. Really, I can see it. SR is so syrupy. It's so upfront, whereas assassin was like. Hitting all those notes and just like knock them out of the park. I feel like if we this is like now. this is like a home run contest where it went farther out of the park. Right. This just hits some guy's windshield in the park and you guys can see it. That is like a stained glass when I'm swirling. Um, I feel like if we had SR now and we had this side by side, I I'd really put them in the middle. People for people them. call me crazy, and you know what? I lo- I read some of the reviews on BA of SR because it's so far down that list. I, I don't understand. I don't like, either. It, it blows my mind. SR is insane. I All I can think is just my type. The, the, the beauty of SR, too, though, is the fact that there's no adjuncts. Yeah. To our knowledge. Oh, no. And that's what no, no, screams know. just masterpiece to me. Um, but I think I like this more. Right out the gate, I think I would I would put this 1A to 1B to SR-71. Yeah, it's... And, I mean, John, I can see your assassin points. I don't mean to like, dismiss those. I, I think they're all... We split hairs. I mean, they're all so. It's all phenomenal. comes down to personal preference. Exactly. And talent. I mean, at this point, if you're going to compare them, you have to. Yeah, I know. I it know. comes down. It's almost just preference at this point. So this yeah. is a beer, like right now, that you know, I'm going to probably sip on. It's going to be really hard for me not to grab a different glass and not revisit this throughout the rest of tonight. Yeah, and that's what one of the brewers recommended at Goose Island. Um, was to get your pour of rare and just kind of let it warm up and, and then cup your hands around it. Um, he says it. it Did you get a second out. class that you could have other samples with? No, that was. Uh, so you had to drink your rare before that you had the problem. That's the one thing they did wrong. That's I've been arguing wrong. about this for a while. But, you know, they went to 500 milliliters. In my opinion, they went in the wrong direction, Agreed. especially for something like that. Agreed. If 22 took, would have been nice. Yes. 22. If they just put three four ounce pours in that. Four four ounce pours. Mm-hmm. That would be the best. I mean, this is something that you're never gonna go home and just dome. You're never. gonna share this with a friend. If you do, every you're... time I might dome one tonight. And I'll <laughs> <take it after laughs> this. Uh, well, it's 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 <laughs> very 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 appropriate that we <laughs> raise the fucking reggae roof. 
This is getting hunts for me. Yeah. I don't think it, there's no way it can. Would you give it a plus? I'm just kidding. Don't. I'm not going to give it a plus. Only going to give it pluses. But when I say it's a hundred, it's in a league of its own 100s, if you will. It's, so, and we, have good, we had another conversation about how we, we hate that no one, or everyone's so afraid to give out a perfect score. And this is probably a beer why. Because when you give this 100, this is truly above. This is in a league of its own. God damn it, John. <laughs> but you know what I mean? This is in a league of its own. It's fucking dumb. I didn't think it would be this good. I really didn't. It's a bar setting. You said to me on uh, via text, it's really good, but I don't think you'll be blown away. Well, he might have just been pulling my chain. You know what? I don't. I'm the anti hype. You I'm are. the anti hype. I don't want you guys to be like, oh, this is going to be the best. Right. Beer Barry is a 100% decent guy. Yeah. yeah no, I'm 100% decent guy. Whoever coined that term was uh, way Hashtag off. Hashtag decent guy. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, this has been Bourbon County Rare. Not SR. Mm-hmm. I was not drunk in this video. He was not. not That's SR. the best But part. we're still getting the clocks out. <laughs> we're still getting the clocks <laughs> Eric's out. I actually... Get I was walking get his around... I was walking, no, I was walking around the work today looking for a clock that I could bring home and like uh, make a necklace out of. We'll get you a Viking <laughs> hat. You can, I think, yeah, you can yeah boy all you want. Oh, daddy. Oh, Daddy. Oh, Daddy. I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. It's been super fun. Thank you so much for joining us for another episode of my channel. And thank you so much to Barry for providing this roof and going to Chicago. All the way to Chicago to get this. <laughs> Hype. We get it. If I had a fucking, like, thrift store bell, I'd be taking the shit out of that like the guy in Breaking Bad. <laughs> hey, it's good. It's like a DJ Khaled. Another one. Another one. <laughs> 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 <laughs>